I welcome you all to live Linux training for members and this is the session number 16 and in this session we will talk about the basic Unix tools. In this tutorial I will introduce you to the basic Unix tools, the commands which we generally use in Linux. This video chapter introduces commands to find or locate files and to compress files together with other common tools that were not discussed before. While the tools discussed here are technically not considered as filters, they can be used in pipes. So the first command that we are going to discuss here in this session is the find command. Find is a very useful command in Linux. The find command can be very useful at the start of a file to search for the files. Here are some examples. You might want to add to greater than slash dev slash null to the command line to avoid cluttering your screen with error messages. So you can use this option along with the find command if you don't want to see the cluttering on the screen. Now let me show you how can you use the find command in Linux to find the files or to search or locate the files. <coughs> After the find command you will have to mention the location where you want to use this utility. If you are not sure with the location then you will have to mention slash to find the files in the entire system and if you are very sure then you can mention the location like this so i'm going to find all the files which are there in this slash etc directory and i can press enter after that so it will list all the files which are there in this slash etc directory in my machine and if i want to create a list of these files i can simply use the greater than sign and I can create a file there like etc files.txt so this will copy the data in this file and we can verify the details by running the cat command here you can see the list of the files which are available in the slash etc directory actually there are a lot of options that we can use along with the find command depending on the situation and for more details you can go through the video i have already created a detailed tutorial on the find command i will provide you the link of that in the description and as well as i will add that particular tutorial to our training playlist now some of the commands let me show you some of the options that we can use with the find command suppose i want to list all the files in the entire system i can mention find and slash and i can press enter so it will show us all the files which are there in the system and it will take some time because there may be n number of files in the system and if you want to copy it in one file you can create a file there like all files dot txt so it will copy the entire details in this file and you can verify this by running the cat command here it will list all the details of the files which are available in my OS in my machine let me discuss some of the options that we can use with the find command suppose I want to find the files which are having the extension as dot conf in the entire system so there I can use the find command find then I will mention slash there then I will define the type that is file so I will mention here f then I want to list them with the extension so I will use the option hyphen name here and after that within the double quotes I will write asterisk dot conf so it will find all the files which are there with the extension as dot conf in my machine if we want to find directories also then we will remove this option hyphen type here it will display all the details in the same way suppose we want to find files 
which are newer than a particular file so recently I created two files in my machine and how can we use that uh, with the find command how can we find those files find after that we will mention the location so I want to find them in my current working directory so I will mention dot here then I will use the option newer and then I will write the file name so the file name is all files dot txt or instead of this I can use the previous one that is etc files dot txt so after the etc files dot txt I created a file all files dot txt so it should display that file here so here we go it is displaying that file which I created after after this slash etc files dot txt so newer option can be used there are a lot of options along with the find command that you can use I will provide you the link of that tutorial I have already created a detailed tutorial on it so we can proceed with the next command actually the problem is with the find command that it takes time so there is another command that we can use is the locate command the locate tool is very different from the find command in that it uses an index to locate files this is a lot faster than transversing all the directories but it also means that it is always outdated if the index does not exist yet then you have to create it first with the update db command so how can you do that how can you find the files by running the locate command after the locate command you can mention the file name suppose I want to find the samba files I will simply write here locate samba so it will show an error because the index is not updated and how can we do that here we can execute the update db command update db and after that we can execute this command so this time it, it will show us the files if they are available there are no files with the name as samba in my machine if I will install some samba files and then I will again update the database and look, use the locate tool then it will definitely show me the details of those files in my machine so here I'm going to install some Samba packages and after that I'll show you so the packages are getting installed with the yum install command and here I will again use the update db command and again I will use locate Samba so this time it will print the details of the Samba files you can see them so by this method we can find the files or locate the files in a faster way now the next command is the date command you know about the date command date command is used to print the current date and time in the machine if you want to see the time then you will use the date command if you want to see the date then in that case also you will use the date command because time command is there for a different task we will use the time command to know the execution time of a command but for date and time for both these purpose to find the time as well as the date we use the date command only we can also use the time date ctl to see the more details about the date and time here you can list the local time universal time rtc time time zone and it will also show you whether the clock is synchronized or not and with this command you can set the date and time as well now we will talk about the time command time command we use to know the execution time of a command suppose I want to check how much time this cal command is taking in the execution so before the cal command I will write time there so here it will show us the execution time in the same way we can use this time command to see the other details like if we want to see the zipping and unzipping of a file and we want to know that time we can use the time command there as well now the next command is the cal command cal command is used to see the current uh, calendar of the current month and with the cal command we can see the calendar of the entire year so after the cal command we will have to mention the year whose calendar we want to display so this time it will display us the calendar of the entire year
if you will open the calendar of 17 and 52 there you will find that 11 days are missing in September and if you know the reason behind that I will wait for your comments you need to tell me why there are 11 days missing in the calendar of September 1752 everywhere whenever uh, you will find you will try to search this calendar of 1752 anywhere whether on the internet or any other device you will find 11 days missing if you know the reason then please let me know the next command is the sleep command sleep command is sometimes sometimes used in scripts to wait a number of seconds so after the sleep command we can mention the time in seconds suppose we want to wait for the 10 seconds so we will write here sleep 10 and press enter so the cursor will wait from for the inputs up to 10 seconds it will not take the input from us up to 10 seconds so sleep command is used there to wait like I can mention here 60 if we want to wait for one minute and if we want to wait for one hour we can mention 3600 so it takes the input in seconds now the next command is the zzip and gunzip command we have created a file with the name as allfiles.txt suppose if I want to zip this file for that I can use the gzip command gzip and the file name so this command will zip this file and you will find that extension will also change now the extension has become dot zz and if you will have a look at the size you will find that the size has reduced it has reduced the size because the file is compressed now if you will try to open this file by running the cat command or more command it will not display you the details you will not be able to go through the details by running the cat or the more command so the files which are zipped or which are having the extension as zz and you want to see the contents there you can use the zcat command zcat and the file name so this will display the details of a zipped file which is having the extension as gz in the same way you can use z more or z less so you will have to simply mention z before the command like z less and the file name so it will display the zipped file contents which is having the extension as dot gz if you want to unzip this file you can run the gunzip command gunzip and the zip to file name and this will unzip the file if you will have a look at this file again you will find the extension has now changed to the original one and now you can open it by running the cat command so gzip we use to zip the files and gunzip we use to unzip the files now we use one more method to zip the files which is more effective and better as compared to the zzip command because it uses better compression technique and the command is bzip2 after the bzip2 we mention the file name which we want to zip so this will zip this file and you will find that the extension will now become .bz2 and if you will open this file by running the cat command or the zcat command you will not be able to go through the contents it will not display the contents in the same way you cannot use the zcat command also it will not going it will not display you anything so the files which are zipped by running the bzip2 utility and if you want to see the file contents you will have to use the bzcat command for that bzcat and the file name in the same way you can use bz more or bz less and the file name but the extension should be bz2 only or the bz2 only in the same way you can use the bz less command also if you want to unzip such files you will have to you will have to execute bunzip 
टू यूटिलिटी वन जिप टू कमांड वी विल यूज टू अनजिप सच फाइल्स विच आर जिप्ड बाय यूजिंग दी वी जिप टू कमांड सो दिस विल अनजिप दिस फाइल हैव अ लुक एट दिस नाउ दी एक्सटेंशन हैज चेंज्ड टू दी ओरिजिनल वन एंड दी फाइल हैज बीन अनजिप्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जिप मोर फाइल्स टूगेदर और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दी अदर यूटिलिटी tar command can also be used for that purpose with the tar command you can zip single file you can zip multiple files together you can unzip them so tar command is very effective and i have already created a tutorial on the tar command and i will provide you the link of that tutorial in the description of this video as well as i will add that video in the training playlist you guys are requested to go through that tutorial also because in that tutorial i have explained each and everything about the tar command and how can you use it now i will request you guys to go through the questions which are given on page number 202 of the same pdf on basic unix tools if you have any questions you can join me on google meet right now thank you so much for joining i'll see you tomorrow at 9 and one more request to you guys if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel then do you can do it right now and you can join the membership program also if you want to avail the facility of watching the videos at your convenience later thank you so much for your time i'll see you tomorrow at 9 bye bye take care good night